Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and in today's video, I'm doing a detailed review of the course from Creative Shrimp called Create Stylized 3D Art in Blender. The course is currently $60 and you can find the link in the description. I'll start by saying that this is a really great course. I can't speak highly enough of it. It's really in depth and detailed with lots and lots of content. There's projects you can follow along with. It's absolutely fantastic. So who's it aimed at? Well, I would certainly say not complete beginners and they assume some basic knowledge and understanding of the interface. But generally beginners who've done a few tutorials can access it. I would say in my opinion, it hits the mark more for those that want to push their 3D skills into new levels. So I think it best suits intermediates and advanced users wanting to get the most out of the software in an artistic and creative way. Many art pieces I see from beginners lack that sense of artistic composition or style. They can often be a bit bland and often everything looks good, but it's just not exciting. Well, this course tells you how you can get to that kind of wow image. So you can make your work really shine and stand out and maybe push your portfolio to a new level to find more career prospects. I've been using Blender for a long time and I might be considered an advanced user, but I learned a lot from this course and really enjoyed all of it. So what's meant by stylized art? Well, anything that's not realistic basically. So it's a really big subject and they deal with the size of the subject very well. For example, in the first section, it's on understanding stylization and there's a lot of theory, but it's really well delivered with some exercises in there. And it's really very eye-opening into things like scene construction, composition, lighting, stylized design, visual flow, color, and depth. I thought this first section was a must for any 3D artist, in my opinion. The artwork is really excellent and you can see some of the examples in the background here. The examples they use are really diverse and interesting. And if you go through the course, you make a detailed, stylized, high poly car and a low poly scene. There's lots of opportunities to follow along and the instructors go at a good pace, which enables you to do this. The teaching is really, really excellent. The explanations are very clear, in depth, so you understand the tools. It's not just that sort of click this, then click this, and you're done and you've done this wonderful piece. They really help you to understand what they're doing and why. The theory is excellent and the knowledge of the instructors is very high indeed. There were loads of small workflow things that I hadn't seen before and was really happy to learn. The great thing is the instructors have both a great understanding of the technical aspects, but also artistic style and understanding as well. It seems quite rare to get both of these combined as usually a course creator has skills in one or the other. And on that note, I would say that this course gives an overall understanding of many aspects of art, not just stylization. Again, I would say the theory aspects in this course are essential to any type of style you're doing, even if it is completely realistic. The things you learn are so valuable. I really felt like I was being inspired and picking up lots of new ideas in lots of their videos. And that's the main thing. It's not just a follow along course, although it does have elements of follow along within it. It's more about look what you can do here and try this out. That's what makes this course quite special in my opinion. It's often the case with courses that you end up seeing students just kind of repeating what the teachers have done, which is certainly no bad thing and helps to learn the software, but students can sometimes struggle to take the next steps on their own and discover their own style. Well, this course encourages that in many ways. Now within the course, a lot of it is focused on things like the node editor and the compositor. It was really interesting to see more of the compositor, which I've not seen in many courses or generally on the internet. So good to see some exploration of that. And I certainly learned a lot. There's a huge amount of content here. There are some big projects to follow along with. So you've got a low poly scene, quite high poly scene. There's a hand painted bit. You've got a fair bit of detail in modeling, nodes and compositing, like I've said. You've got the grease pencil in there. There's a bit of animation and loads more. So you really get a lot for your money. So if you can afford it, Again, I really can't recommend this enough. Really well done to the Creative Shrimp team. And thanks very much for giving me the opportunity to review it. So comment below if you've already taken the course with your thoughts, good or bad, to let others know how you got on. And also read the comments for more opinions apart from my own. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.